Use the microphone. <laughs> Don't use the microphone. <laughs>
Bike Ride, presented by Bike Law. Um, what a beautiful day for a ride. It was uh, really great. Let's just like big up for the weather. Uh, <laughs> um, it was so nice to be back in person doing this ride again. Um, I've been doing this ride since I think 2017, 2018, and it's just so much better in person with a big group of people taking the streets having to have the cars wait for us for a change. It's really great. Um, so I just wanted to do a few thank yous first. So uh, thank you to our presenting sponsor, Bike Law. Uh, um, they've been a longtime supporter of us and this ride, so it's always great to see them um, back here again. Um, I also want to thank our business sponsors, so Toronto Hydro, Urbane Cyclists and Curbside Cycle for their support. Uh, thanks to our prize sponsor. So some lucky people here today will be winning some prizes. Uh, so that includes Spinco, uh, Henderson Brewery, Inside Out Studio, Patagonia, Two Wheel Gear, Sweet Peats, and Pedal People. Um, Uh, Councillor Moyes, who has joined us here today, as this uh, is his, his driving. Oh, he's right there waving. Great. Um, and I also wanted to thank all of you for coming out. Um, this ride wouldn't be possible without tons of you uh, joining to sign up, to fundraise. Um, to we have our fundraising target this year was fifty thousand dollars, and we have exceeded that. We're at 57,000, so that's awesome. Great job, everyone. Um, and also, uh, finally, wanted to shout out. Uh, well, I want to shout out our cycling educators, all of our great people in Orange and High Vis for keeping us all safe on the ride.
that's on the streets of Toronto knows that there is so much more work to do. Um, we had a great ride today, but there's still, you know, missing links that we all see. Um, and this problem is obviously also so much worse in our inner suburbs where there's even less infrastructure. Um, and we are focusing on doubling the kilometers that were planned to be delivered through the uh, near-term cycling network plan. So that's in our, our future goals. So your funding will help support that advocacy. But it also includes making what exists safer. So ensuring lanes get cleared of ice and snow in the winter, and that in the warmer months, our roads are safe to traverse by bike, even despite all of, apparently every route in Toronto, bike route in Toronto is closed down by construction <laughs> these days. So. Um, uh, Allison mentioned it earlier at the launch of the ride, but uh, Cycle Toronto and other road safety advocates have been working with the city's director of traffic management to improve the dire states of our roads. Um, we shouldn't be prioritizing the movement of cars over the safety of people. Um, and we will be organizing a peaceful rally on October 29th to help elevate the awareness of this issue. So please join us for that. Mark your calendar. everyone out there in costume. Um, so we are hopeful that we can bring safe cycling to every corner of the city, But and I'm so excited for our future, but none of this is possible without you, without events like this, without you guys joining Cycle Toronto, being members, um, responding to action alerts, you know, talking to your counselors, talking to your friends, all of that. So I just want to thank you again for coming today. Um, oh God, cut out again. And uh, introduce Donna. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today. Um, my name is Sonam. I'm the Partnerships and Events Manager at Cycle Toronto. I've been here for about two years now and I have constantly constantly been learning about cycling and cycling in the city. Um, I learned how to ride a bike. Oh. I learned how to ride a bike two years ago. So it's it's been a it's been a long journey. Um, yeah, just with, uh, with everything. But um, I'm I'm here to, uh, actually I'm here just to introduce um, some very special people um, and I'm here to make a very special announcement about a very special person um, in, in a lot of people's lives over here. Um, on December 2nd, 2020, um, we lost a cyclist, but more importantly, we lost a daughter, um, a sister, a friend, and an all-around kind-hearted and inspirational woman, and her name was Alex Amaro. Um, Alex was riding her bike on Dufferin Street when she was uh, killed in a devastating case of violence. And um, a generous, and she's a free-spirited and beloved uh, member of the community. Anyone would have been so lucky um, to have known her. Um, today we are uh, joined by Alex's family: um, Rebecca, George, Karen, um, and Lucretia Orlando and Cyclotron staff. And we are here to announce the Alex Amaro Cycling uh, Kindness Award. Um, the award was created to recognize a young cyclist and a community member whose efforts ex exemplify a positive approach to cycling and trying to just make the city a safer place to bike, um, because we all need that, and, and more inclusive and more accessible, and I think we can all agree that um, these are things that Alex so passionately stood for. So I would like to invite um, Patrick, Melissa, and Kelsey, along with Alex's family, George, Garen, and Rebecca, to say a few words in honor of Alex. Firstly, uh, thank you, Sonu. Um, thank you to everyone who came today uh, to raise money so that our streets are safer and that we can fund places like Cycle Toronto, which has been at the forefront of that effort for a very long time and will continue. We were fortunate on the ride as well. We had other organizations here, Joey Swartz from Advocacy for Respect for Cyclists with the Ghost Bikes, just speakers here for Friends and Families for Safe Streets, uh, Danielle Olivia Pintos here from Walk Toronto. So you have a lot of different people here fighting the same fight. And thank you 
obviously everyone from Cybertron for all your volunteering your work. Thank you, Pike, Law, Melissa, and Kelsey, and everybody else who's put efforts into this. I think there's a lot of things about safe streets, and it's a lot of things that we really push, and we're pushing for bike lanes so that cyclists have space to travel safely. We push for new laws, like the vulnerable road user laws, which means that people are punished and that we just don't have accidents and they're preventable and we want real deterrence out there. We push for other cycling initiatives like complete streets. We push for many different things. But I can tell you that outside of all those efforts, if we adopted one rule and society and individuals in our communities adopted that rule, and that's a rule of kindness, and that you treat kindness and kindness to other people, then everybody would have safe path passage. And as well, kindness for our environment. And it's our pleasure within the Morrow family, obviously in Cycle Toronto, to see that this award is going to go out each year for that purpose of showing kindness. So that hopefully one day that can be adopted on our streets and real change will happen. So I'm gonna let Melissa introduce the Morrow family it's been instrumental in not only bringing this forward, but creating this award in the name of a beautiful young woman. Thanks, Pat. I just want to give, name a few names. Uh, firstly, I want to thank everyone that's in this room today with us and who did the ride with us. Uh, we've been working on towards this announcement and towards this award for quite a few months now, along with the Amaro family, and Cycle Toronto, Michael Longfield, Sonam, and everyone else at Cycle Toronto. Um, and there are several people here today um, that are here, um, family members and friends of Alex. We're here with you, and we're so glad to have you here today. Um, it's my honor to introduce Karen, George, and Rebecca Amaro as well as Alex's grandparents, Ron and Myra Orm. Orm. Thank you. Um, so I will pass the mic over to Karen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Melissa, Patrick, Kelsey, Sona. I appreciate it. Um, Gosh, there are a lot of people here. <laughs> I'm not a very good public speaker, so bear with me. However, I am Karen, Alex's mom, George, Alex's dad, Rebecca, her big sister, and best friend. The photo behind us was taken May 1st, 2020, Alex's 23rd birthday. Seven months plus a day later, at 6.45 p.m., December 2nd, our world shattered into a million pieces. We would give anything, everything, not to be standing here in front of you right now. However, we are so humbled and so very grateful to Patrick and the Bookfish Orlando team and Michael Longfield and Cycle Toronto for approaching us earlier this year with the opportunity to honor Alexander's memory through an award. In partnering with them, they gave us the freedom to shape that award in a way that best reflects Alex as a person and as a cyclist, and what kind of a difference she would want that award to make. The Alex and Mero Cycling Kindness Award pays tribute to the positive, selfless, compassionate, and kind way in kind way that our daughter lived her young life. More importantly, we hope it encourages others to pay forward those same attributes in a way that benefits the cycling community and the city. Like many kids in Toronto, Alex didn't have her driver's license. Her bike was her wheels. In the last... In her... In her... <laughs> In her last year of high school, she ditched the, the bike she'd been riding since grade five in favor of a sleek silver 1980 
Fuji's Esprit. She found it on Kijiji. She loved that bike. It took her to school, to work, on errands, and to events. She rode it all around town with friends, many who are cyclists too, and who are here tonight. Thank you. That bike was also her ticket to epic leisure rides. <laughs> often, around, often on a whim, uh, around Toronto's cycling paths, streetscapes, parks, side routes, and far beyond the city limits. This award is not about cyclists versus driver rights, penalties, and legal advocacy for vulnerable road users. There are other forces, groups, and bills driving that very, very important work. The Alex Amaro Cycling Kindness Award is about fostering and growing a positive, accessible bike culture in our city. One that is harmonious, safe, sustainable, patient, and kind. It's designed to applaud and encourage the creation of cycling-friendly initiatives and recognizes caring, humanitarian efforts, from volunteerism to ensuring that everyone has the opportunity to enjoy biking in healthy, safe, and fun ways. This award excites us, and we're looking forward to receiving a lot of amazing, deserving nominations. Finally, we are so very grateful that Alex and her beautiful, caring soul lives on making a difference in the city one positive act of cycling kindness at a time. Thank you. weeks I've been trying to think of a way that I could replicate that, uh, but unfortunately with the braces, I can't anyways. Um, I did have sort of other words uh, kind of prepared, but I think Ashley did a fantastic job kind of covering the work that Cycles Toronto is doing. You know, normally in an event like this, I'd introduce myself as executive director, I would talk about, you know, that Cycle Toronto has been here since uh, 2008, in part because of, you know, uh, Pat's pioneering work, getting the Toronto Cyclist Union going. I would talk about you know the hundred kilometers of bike lanes that uh, we're working to get the city to uh, by the end of 2024, and then setting an even more ambitious target uh, with our new mayor, new council. You know why not 200 kilometers for the next time? Because uh, we know we need it. There are a lot of roads in this city. You know I talk about the Learn to Ride program, and you know I just sort of talk about again just how proud uh, I am, and on behalf of Cycle Toronto to be partnering 
with the Amaro family uh, and Bike Law uh, on this award itself. Um, but you know, I'm here as a participant, a donor, as a fundraiser. Um, as you can see, I did have an incident involving bicycles. It did not involve a car. It was a bike racing crash. I'm happy to talk about it at detail uh, later. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank everyone for being here. I want to thank you all for fundraising. Uh, I want to thank the staff, again, Sonam, Allison, Taylor, Caitlin, just for really knocking it out of the park. I've been on leave uh, for the past six months. You all have been like doing amazing. It's been awesome watching it as uh, an outsider, sort of seeing how this is going. And I think it really just speaks to that, you know, Cycle Toronto is, I don't want to get corny on this, but it's like bigger than just a staff team. It's bigger than just the volunteers. It really is about a shared vision for a better, safer cycling city for all. And it's because of people like you showing up, being on rides like this, volunteering, spreading the word and doing that sort of thing that we're getting closer to doing it and we're gonna make it happen. So thank you so much for being here. Lots of food and drinks. And uh, yeah, if you wanna talk recently details about bike racing crashes, happy to do that. Thank you. <laughs>